How many people have tablets? Good. Uh, something weird happened a couple weeks ago. The first time the Super Bowl was streamed live online. How many watched the Super Bowl online? Or watched a little bit of it? It's actually about average. About 1%, about a little bit less than 1% watched it online. So that was interesting. So this is going to be a cool year when it comes to that kind of stuff. Super Bowl stream live. How many people have, do you all know, and this is something that it's been talked about, I live it every day, but this is the first time the Olympics are going to be streamed live online and to talent. So we're talking London, 9 a.m., 3 a.m. here, you're going to start streaming live. So as soon as you get to work in the morning, you can watch swimming, gymnastics, track and field. <laughs> How big a time waster do you think that's right. going to be? <laughs> so it's like, you want to go to this meeting? No, because I'm watching swimming. I really right. can't. <laughs> so the amount of corporate networks are going to be plugged up doing this, and the carrier networks, to, to be honest. So things are changing this year. We're going to see a lot. Of, and you, There are people at 30 Rock right now scared to death that Streaming online is going to cannibalize their TV stream. You know, you're not going to watch Bob Costas at 8 o'clock at night if you saw everything you wanted to see at 11 o'clock in the morning. So, and that gets to a point we'll talk about a little bit later on what really happens to the $80 billion TV ad market. But I want to talk a little bit more about mobile. And to go to the first slide, this really is the money slide out of all this stuff. Is that when you start thinking about where the mobile industry is headed, and this is the video consumption that we're seeing right now. So, right now, you know, this is only, we only went back about a year on this, but actually I have, I have slides that go back, you know, we've been doing this report for, since I think 2000, I, did, I started in 2007, when it was like literally like 4 million people watching video on their phone. We're now 31 million people watching video on their phone. This is something that, this doesn't include iPads. So the iPad number is something like 93% of people watch video on an iPad. And if you get a chance, check out um, the uh, Nielsen Wire today. We had a new thing out on kids and what kids use the iPad for. So I'm sure if you have kids and an iPad in the house, they take a significant portion of that time watching cartoons, playing games, doing all this other stuff. YouTube. So when you think about this trajectory, what we're seeing is that this has continued to go up. We're looking at about 2 million increase every time. And as the smartphone penetration in the US begins to get, we're right now close to about 50%. We'll probably cross over 50% sometime this quarter. Um, and it's going to continue to rise, you know. Um, and I was talking about this today. Apple is, you know, price, has sustained their five hundred dollar plus price or market share or uh, stock price. That's going to continue to grow. They always talk about like we're going to expand in, you know, Brazil and to India and to China. And so it's going to continue to grow. Android's not stopping, you know. So basically, and I challenge everybody today: try to go out and find a future phone to buy you know, at a Best Buy or someplace else. So, but you can see it actually growing here. If we go to the next slide. So what's this breakdown when I start talking about the pieces of it? You start looking at who's watching it on, you know, the majority, 84% of people are watching video on a smartphone. So if you have a smartphone, chances are you're watching it on video. And then when you break that out, you know, iPhone and Android are predominantly what's happening. And this is important for you to realize because these two have really great integrations with some of the other social media aspects but also with YouTube. So when you look at iPhone and obviously Android, YouTube becomes a big portion of which we'll talk about. Um, go to the next one. Actually, I don't want to go to this. I know I'm running over time. Next one. Next one. Uh, this, this will be available, so if you guys want to get it later. This is what I was talking about, about people are watching. YouTube is the highest rated um, uh, channel on the mobile, on, in, in, from a mobile video standpoint. Google came out with an interesting point that they're starting to give money away, or YouTube is starting to give money to independent producers to go and produce their own professional content. So you're getting people out there with a you know, HD camera, a MacBook Pro, and they're going out and creating you know, in a script, and they're going out and creating their own professional content, which is going to compete you know, for the same 24-hour day that everyone else is competing with. So you know, if you spend an hour watching mobile video on you know, some really great web show, that's an hour you're not spending watching Modern Family. So when you start thinking about this, you know, what this really means from an ecosystem standpoint, you have a screen with you all the time, and a screen that you can use that gives you, you know, high quality professional content that you really enjoy with, you know, that is commercial, that probably is um, commercially supported. However, maybe not the same that you're getting from, you know, as the TV everywhere app, you're gonna start seeing a lot of cannibalization. And this is what keeps people up in New York at night about, you know, what happens to this $80 billion ad market.